Welcome back to Artscape Canada. Today we're going to talk about how to utilize laser levels in the landscape. The technology has grown very quickly and there's a few types that we can utilize to make our lives a lot easier as well as improve the accuracy of our projects. As you know in our hardscape installations, string lines are extremely important. Making sure they're set up correctly and we're able to achieve exactly what we want for our heights, slopes, elevations, all that fun stuff. So let's start putting it together. I like to use concrete stakes. They're nice and sturdy and it's good to just have a, a bunch around for setting up our perimeter stakes to attach our string lines to and for something to actually write our heights onto as well. We can use rebar too. Just want to make sure we put a cap on it so it's safer in the landscape and no one will accidentally trip and potentially get impaled. And first I'm just going to show you our knots once again. I'm told that the first knot is called a girth hitch. Uh, pretty standard, just want to double the line over on itself, about six inches long, and then just do a standard knot, leaving a loop at the end. And then we're going to double that over on itself so that when we put it on the stake, it's actually going to sort of cinch up tight and stay put, even if the line is loose. And the second one, I think it's called a clove hitch. Uh, so overhand loop, one direction, and then the same thing beside it. Uh, the first one just has to go over top of the second one. And let's see that again. So the second one just slides underneath the first one. And we're putting that on the stake. And you can see how it locks on here. So it overlaps on itself and allows us to be able to pull tension. And you can also release it there, tracing that one line into the knot and getting your fingernail underneath it. Um, but this technique will get our string lines extremely tight, especially for some longer runs. So let's see it in action here quickly. All right, setting up the laser level. This is a rotary laser, a uh, pretty standard model, nothing fancy about it. And we just wanna get the tripod stable in the ground. That's why we step on all of the legs of the tripod first. And then we're gonna screw on the actual laser level, turn it on, and it's gonna work here to self level. And as soon as it starts spinning, it's ready to go. It'll shoot 360 degrees. And here's the receiver for it. So you can see it's flashing to indicate up or down in order to get that laser to hit directly in our center point there. You can also use a smaller, simpler version, which isn't a rotary laser, it's just a, a stationary laser. Um, but this newer technology uses a green laser light and it can be mounted virtually anywhere. It's magnetic, so I can put it on a pole or attach it to the side of my truck. Uh, or use a screw in the bracket that comes with it to attach it to any wood, any fence post. It does only shoot in about 180 degrees, um, but it does swivel as well. And with the mounting bracket attached to a fence post, it actually leaves you a little bit of room for it to travel up and down by a couple inches as well, which is handy. And turn it on here. Uh, it does have a vertical laser beam as well for any other applications you can think of, like even hanging pictures in your house, that sort of thing. Any kind of vertical line that needs to be exactly straight up and down. Uh, but in the landscape, we're using this horizontal laser light as a reference point in order to either figure out what existing grades are or establish new grades in and on our concrete stakes for any new aspects that we're building. And a really cool thing about this tool is that you can actually get a receiver for it too. 
So you can use it just the same way that we would in setting up our heights uh, as a rotary laser. So even if you can't visibly see the laser light, the receiver can up to a distance of over 200 feet and allows us to set up our heights. So I'll just show you how we're actually gonna implement this now. I always like to say that the simplest way to do things is the best, um, saves us the most overthinking. So I always like to set up my stakes where I need them for the perimeter of a patio or for a wall, whatever you're building, and establish our benchmark first. Now that can be, let's say two inches underneath the siding on the house or the threshold of a door. Uh, whatever you need to match up to is your benchmark. And I'd simply use the laser and set the bottom of my stick to that height. And I'm transferring that benchmark height onto all of my other stakes. And then I'm gonna calculate my slopes after. So simply transferring that benchmark height onto the other stakes. And then we can figure out some length measurements and calculate our slope after. Or if we're setting up for an actual level line, like I am in this case, we can simply attach that line and you can even double check that it is indeed level and you're ready to go. So let's add some complexity. This is for a square patio and I'm going to shoot once again that benchmark height onto all of my stakes. And then if I'm sloping in one direction to the left, I simply need to do a length measurement times that by my percentage of slope. So I'm going to do one and 2% in this case, just to show you the difference and you're simply measuring down on that one side, that measurement, so 1% on a length of 12 feet or 144 inches is simply 1.44 inches. I find it best to mark my benchmark height in one color and then my slope in another so that I can easily quickly reference back to it if I have to take the string lines down and put them back up again. I put all three string lines up here for level one and 2%, just so you can see the difference. And you can also use this simple laser level to set up heights for things like sills or really anything that you want to level in the landscape. So you need to just set the tool up to the right height where in this case we're doing a sill project where the laser beam is actually hitting just the front edge of what you want to keep level and then you can visually see if it's level or not. Makes things go really nice and smooth and quick. All right, let me know what you think. Talk to you soon.